And we're back in the fish house. Why are we back in the fish house? Hang on, I'll turn this hair pump off a second so we can hear us or think. Oh, listen to that silence. Right. The other week I put up a video about the EA Tempest and using an air pump on it. A couple of subscribers have asked me to go over that video again. So, for the purposes of demonstrations, I have left the Tempest exactly how it is supposed to be for this moment. So, what we do is we go in, like they say, we shut the top valve, shut the bottom valve, turn the pump off, and then we come down and we open this valve here. Now when we open this valve here, the air then gets sucked through this little non-return valve here, which then agitates the media, right? Like so. Now, as you can see, it agitates rather well. And the water coming out, there's a fairly good stream on it. And as I've said before, once this thing gets to about where the, the, the P starts, pull the top valve and then purge it because there's absolutely no point in that non-return valve going blah, 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 if nothing's moving. So I started off by doing that, which then purges what's left. Then I had people in the comments saying, I'm going to buy one and I'm going to add an air pump to it. Now I was sitting there thinking to myself, well, why would you go out and spend £250 on a brand new filter and then start changing it. So I put it to the test and I've got to admit that like any type of pond filter, you end up tailoring that filter to your pond. You know, the specifications on most filters are a guideline so therefore you then have to fine tune and tweak it so we'll shut that one open that one and we'll fill her back up for the second there she goes on her way up When we get to the top, what we're going to do this time round is I'm going to shut the bottom valve, leave the top valve open and then turn off my pump. Now I've already hardwired this into my air lines, so all I've got to do is hook that up to the little non-return valve on the back. And making sure that I've got the top valve open, otherwise it won't work. You then switch on your air pump. Turn off the bio bin, mister. And then we open up the tube. Yes, I've got a little air leak coming out from that pipe. This is only for the demonstration purposes at present. As you can see, there is a hell of a lot more movement within the Tempest itself. Now, if that was my easy pod boiling, I'd walk away, leave it 20, 30 minutes, maybe come back, dump it, and then give it a clean out. So you could do the same to this, but I personally think while you've got the air pump running, when you empty the filter itself, look at how much more force comes out of the cleaning purge. 
and with the way it empties so quickly because of the air there's no need to worry about purging it either so do I think it will help my filter run better I think so otherwise I wouldn't have got bits and started hard wiring it in like I said on my last video as a polisher you don't really need to do this but if you are going to go by the specifications on the box which state that you can use it as a standalone filter then I would connect an air pump to it for cleaning purposes that way you will get a proper clean I like the fact using the air pump the fact that I get such a violent purge of the water out of the system which in my mind will drag all the crap with it so air pumps on Tempest thumbs up folks ah, right let me start this back up turn the air on let me bio bin again lift that one switch that one and what I'll do is I'll turn this air pump off a second and then I'll turn off the air on the growing on tank I'll tell you what the camera just really does not do these fish justice these macashies are absolutely phenomenal I know this isn't a sales video but yes I do grow my koi on to sell them on I enjoy and one of the main enjoyments I get from my koi hobby is watching the progression and the development come through to about 30 centimeters then my attitude is it's then time to pass it on and let someone else continue the baton and see if they can keep the quality on them I don't charge ridiculous amounts just a little bit in consideration for food electricity husbandry etc etc But these mukashis, oh my word. I'll try and find a, uh, a video of them from when I first bought them in April and you would not believe the difference. Now if I walked into a koi dealer's I'd be expecting to pay anywhere in the region over at 80 to 150 not more for one of these tosai. If you're interested, £50 each. And these are going to be stonking growers. If you give me a moment, I'll get a couple in the bowl. Now, guys, here we are. We have two out of the five in the bowl. I didn't put a third one in there because, like I say, these are almost 30 centimeter fish but the uh, the fuckering and the skin quality is absolutely sublime and like I say these uh, are the best growers in the tank and they're the best looking at the moment as well you tell me down in the comments folks another cracker from the tank stunning little jarker again the metallic on it is unreal beautiful crisp clean white on the head Here 
中が下を目指しの上ですけど。Like I say, thoughts in the comments, folks. I'm getting out of the light. A stunning little dinner in Solidoy. A little bit speedy. A little Pancho Goshki. Really, I'm going to have to get this light and sort it out in here. Again, he's going to be another cracking little fish. Cracking little Shiro. Beautiful, lovely head. Nice, clean white. We look a little bit faded black as this tank sitting between 25 and 26 degrees. And yeah, he's going to be a stunning little fish. You see, little, he's not that little now. A nice yellow, yellow tone Makashi. There's two yellow ones. There's this one and one that's slightly paler. And the others are more on the. Uh, the white spectrum. And again, beautiful metallic luster. And they hungry, hungry, hungry. So, as we finish off this video. As you can see, they're all hungry, hungry eaters. They eat well. You see, we've got a mixture in here. There's uh, a couple of shower. Well, the big shower is gone. That's been sold. That's going to a gentleman in Salisbury. Uh, we're doing a, a facelift of this pond in a few weeks' time. We've got a few kahaku in here. We've got Kikikoryu, Kikikoryu, Achiba, Achiba, uh, and Goshki. So if anyone's interested, put it down in the comments or, or send me a message. And we will catch you on the next one.